it's kind of like a little Marie Kondo moment, if you will. I just love getting together with like all my girlfriends and hanging out and talking and gossiping and clothing and uh, <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to The Flow Show. I'm your girl, Flo. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any tips or tricks for the future. Here's what we're gonna be talking about today. Do you wanna save the world slash the planet, but you don't know anything to do about it? Cause that's me. I'm like, ugh, I see these videos of like freaking polar bears it just is so sad this is not anything great but it's not the worst thing you can do as you all know i'm a huge fan of clothing i have quite a bit of it these are full of clothes too so is this i love clothes what can i say i also don't love to pay a lot of money for clothes as you know this is something that i've actually done with my friends before a clothing swap Essentially, there's a group of girlfriends that I have and we all get together. We bring a big old bag of our clothes that we don't wear anymore that we were thinking of donating. And essentially we just like get together, dump them on the floor, have at it, every woman for herself. And it's really cool because as they say, one person's trash is another person's treasure, right? Yes, that's a thing. And anyway, whatever does not get picked up by anybody else gets donated. So it's like a reduce, reuse, recycle thing, right? Which saves the world, right? So anyway, we had this event and it was really successful. I think there were like seven of us there and we all brought our clothes and everybody goes home with something. Yeah, it was a really good time. And to be perfectly honest, like I always feel like the asshole that does really well because I sew, I take some things for like fabric or whatever. So I end up doing really well. And now I'm gonna show you everything that I got. Let's get started. Yes. I love it. So to start, I got a perfectly practical, just plain black bandeau. I also snatched this little striped one because I thought it was sassy. It'd be cute under a plain top. I got a couple little tank tops that are the exact same, but you know, who can't use a good little tank top? Now we move along to our athleisure category with this little sports bra. It's super cute, love the pattern, and it really holds my boobs in there so they won't be all over the place hitting me in the face. Um, and then this little Lululemon top, which I actually wanted when I was in university, and now I somehow find it in my hand. Like, can we say meant to be? Yes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna look so cute working out in this. If I work out, that is. And then I locked into a couple just nice tank tops. They're really nice quality, like a little bit thicker. Nice, cute colors, good for the fall. Adorable little crop top. It's a little bit tight, but like, whatever, it's cute. Plain white shirt. Can't go wrong with a plain white shirt. I mean, right? Goes with everything. <laughs> and then I got this cute little shirt with some feathers on it. Not really my thing, but like, I mean, Great as a pajama shirt. And I'm sure this will come across as shocking, but I had to grab something with a little bedazzle on it, little gems on the sleeves there. Uh, a little Union Jack tank top. I thought this was super cute, like Spice Girls. If you wanna be my lover. And then I looked into these two really cute, like turtleneck crop tops almost. They're not quite a crop, but they just hit me at a good place on the waist with a cute little keyhole in the back. And luckily it was so cute that it was in another color. This isn't great, great bra with this, but you get the idea. Next up, I got this really cute colored top uh, with a really interesting neckline. I'm always drawn to an interesting neckline. I got this great little fringy top. It's a little bit big, so I'd probably take it in. So it's like a little crappy top, but for now I'm just wearing it like loosey goosey and I'm loving it. It's really fun. Then I got this adorable open on both sides, kind of like, it's almost like a dress length, but I probably wouldn't wear it as a dress. So it'll be a little scandy, but it's super cute. I also got this very interesting little, I don't know what to call it, but it's an interesting fabric shirt and I don't know, maybe I'll wear it out to some event. Who knows? Ah, uh, it fit. <laughs> I also got this adorable lace little number. I think it would be just darling with something underneath it. 
<laughs> I got a nice long sleeved white shirt, which is kind of versatile. You can wear it, you know, as is, or you can kind of take the bottom. The bottom's a little bit more fitted and turn it into a cute little crop top. I, you know how I like to do that. <laughs> I also got this really adorable blazer. It looks very stupid with this white shirt. I don't know why I put it on with this white shirt, but uh, it's actually really cute. It would be perfect over a dress. Then I got this little beaded shirt. It is definitely not gonna fit me, so I kind of took it for this nice beading. I also managed to snag this tiny little Hollister vest. It definitely does not fit me, but whatever. I'll wear it open in the fall and it's a cute look. I love a vest. I also managed to snag these like faux leather pants. They definitely don't fit me, not even a chance but I plan to turn it into like a little skirt number, I think, if I can. <laughs> I also got a few little accessories, including some pairs of shoes, some socks, and an entire bag of makeup that my friend doesn't really use and brushes. So lucky me. This is also the same friend that has given me a bag of makeup before, so she's really great. <laughs> I actually also got a few other things that I forgot to film. I got a couple little like baby suit pieces, but to be perfectly honest, my friends aren't quite as curvy-licious as I am, so <laughs> I don't think they would even be appropriate for film. Um, they're like tanning bikinis. <laughs> what else did I get? I got something else. Oh, I got a couple of like, I got like this sweater and I was like, why not? You know, I wear the exact same shirt every year for St. Patrick's Day if I do anything for St. Patrick's Day. So now I have a different one. And I think I'm probably just gonna cut it into like a crop top, to be honest, just above the pocket and be like, <laughs> classic me and then i also got this like red christmas sweater i figure i can use that for a christmas craft for like an ugly sweater party or something not that it's an ugly sweater it's actually cute but nobody wanted it so so i took it i would definitely have to say that my favorite items in the bundle like i really lucked out um i mean this makeup some people are not into sharing makeup but i really couldn't care less like i'll wash my face at the end of the day it's fine whatever as you know i have some makeup that's like 10 years old anyway so i don't really care about expiry dates either no big deal i am obsessed with the doc martin combat boots that i got amazing i mean leggings you can wear anytime anywhere so that's just a bonus i really really love the lace overlay top that i got and the one that's like open on the sides i've probably worn that like three or four times already it's just fab really happy and now that we're all through i like hosted the event and so i have all of these clothes that didn't get picked at all and i kind of went through them and i picked some things i was like mom you might like this my sister you might like all of these things there was a lot and then everything else that like did not work nobody it didn't fit nobody wanted it whatever it's all gonna be donated to a local charity i haven't figured out which one we're gonna take it to yet but you know, it's a win, 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 win. Everybody's winning. There's like so many people winning. So it was a great time anyway. So I highly recommend that you go out, organize one of these events with your girlfriends or your boyfriends or whomever, like bring everybody. I wear guy stuff. Uh, I wouldn't say my husband wears girl stuff, but everybody has kind of a little bit of a different style. So, you know, some things are totally meant for some people and some things are totally not they're like meant for other people and you kind of find like certain people in your friend group that you're like oh my god we just pick each other's stuff because we have really similar styles even organize it with people you don't know because you never know what treasures you will find plus it's just good it's good for the environment so yeah i always seem to end up being the person that gets all kinds of stuff i mean it's in my nature i just i see the potential in everything like oh, but this could be this could be something else like uh, this neon scarf that i got i'm thinking i'm gonna try to use that for something like a, like trying to be a kardashian video or something if you want to see me do a neon kardashian trying to be a kardashian and live my best life video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching once again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep watching more of these videos and we'll see you next time.